2020 Desert Twilight Festival in Arizona. Finally, cross country is back. Coach John Rosen, Newberry Park this weekend. Newberry Park XC Club, Athletic Club. Uh, first off, for the competition. How does it feel to be back? It feels amazing. Um, we haven't been able to obviously race, and it's like even some of the time trials we've been doing, practices, we've been trying to create a race atmosphere just to get that feeling back. We even had parents show up, social distance out of practice, just to kind of get that feeling. We all miss it. So just to be here was absolutely amazing. I think we just put uh, we just put the fire back that we needed, you know, even though it was a weird race to get ready for because we're trying to get ready for the California State meet. But I think just taking a little bit step back and focusing to get ready for this. It just I, I think it was great. For it was great. Again, for some perspective, right now it's October the second. Because of COVID-19, the California state season won't begin until the day after Christmas. The state meet is not until the last weekend of March. Things have changed around. How important was this for you as a coach to give your kids a chance to compete and, sh and see where they're at fitness-wise? I think the biggest thing was mental. Uh, physiologically, I think we don't even need this because my the way I'm looking at it as a professional schedule. If you're a professional athlete and you're a distance runner, if you're good enough to make the World Championships, you race U.S. Championships in February, World Championships in Cross Country in March, then you have a full track season, USA's are in, uh, in June. That's how we're treating our training. We're, we're, we're doing a build-up like that, but with this, they needed it mentally. They needed a race. They needed to put, like, the same uniform on. Not in Newberry Park High School, unfortunately, but they got to put the same uniform on. They got to run as a team again, and it was just awesome. It was amazing. And I just think mentally it was the best thing we could have done. You know, win or lose, they needed to have girls and guys. And yeah, as a team, and the boys in particular were incredible today. Uh, I believe it was one, three, five, six, and nine in a very good field of individuals. I had to keep on looking at the results, cross comparing different things, top runners, doing the math. The reason I had to keep looking at it is because from what I see, looking at it closely, that's the best performance I have ever, ever seen out of a team. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. And I keep on looking for different barometers, it's all there. And you've been talking about how good this team is. Yeah. That was amazing. I think, and I've said this, at a Woodbridge, if we have it in January, my prediction is we have it in the 14th time. Yeah, I mean, I mean we, 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 that's, my, that's my goal. That was our goal for this season. I got sidelined with the postponement, but that's who we are. I mean, we're going to put guys under 14 minutes. The bar is higher. We're not training, we're not, they're not running hard, they're just running smarter. Everyone, I, I feel like Nico paved this way, and, and he set the precedent. And, and if I could trickle down, he's got two brothers on the team. As a coach, I've learned a lot from Nico. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, if anything, I've learned that these kids are a lot faster than we think they are. And, yeah. and they can do more, but you don't have to push them harder. You just gotta think outside the box. And yeah. these kids are great. They're just great kids, and, and I, I'm lucky that they, they do what I say and they believe what I say, because if that wasn't the case, it really wouldn't happen. The kids, let's, look, let's talk about the, the boys team first. They ran so well. Was there any one kid that, that stood out to you as far as either, probably not surprising you, but impressed me? Something that got really impressed you about that. You know, I, Aaron Solomon, my, my sophomore. I mean, I think he ran fourth guy for me today. Yes. Um, I think he was I don't know, seventh or ninth. I don't know. It wasn't ninth. Sixth. Sixth overall. Yeah. I mean, He's a guy who had to race for the seventh spot a couple weeks ago. He's a he's a he's a racer. He's a gamer. He shows up, but we're, we're, I'm figuring out how to get him in that right um, training mode to get him to race a little bit better. And, and it's been amazing. It's been amazing. But he did surprise me a little bit. Although I shouldn't be surprised him, but he did surprise me. And obviously, you know, Colin Solomon. I mean, he didn't surprise me, but it was pretty awesome. He won the race. Yeah. That was the goal was to win, and he didn't want anything else but the win. 14:54 in that 5K with some really good talent in there. People, sheer. I mean, there was some horses in there. Girl side. Between the girl side, anybody in there really impress you? Make a statement? Yeah, I mean, we didn't run a full girls team. I have uh, some are going on a recruiting trip this weekend. SATs that got canceled again, so that kind of got thrown in a wrench. But we and we had a couple girl. Well, we had one girl coming off an injury. One girl running here that hadn't only done one workout. So we're kind of building back up. That that team is totally getting ready for January. That's actually going to help our girls team because they'll be ready then, and they weren't quite ready here. But we wanted them mentally to have something to look forward to. They came out here with their families and have fun. You know, they're all, it's, it's just a good deal. But Sam, you know, Sam McDonald ran amazing. I thought she ran well. She was fifth overall. She, I, I felt she should have been in with that top four, but it was a good opener for her. I don't think it was a fast course overall, right. but I think she ran well. And I think she's going to shock me. Uh, question that I have, so 
team is really well. There may be an opportunity or two come down the line in the next couple of months for cross country. You guys did so well last year with very careful training. You're now going to try and balance this season with the, with the state season. How many more club races might you do if yeah. If there is another race, we would do one, and then that would be it. And otherwise, if we don't find another race, we're gonna do we're gonna go on our high school track, and we'll do a like a 5K time trial. And I think I'm gonna have I want excitement, I want parents, and I just oh, want to cool. create something fun. And the old PR and the 5K, I'm sure everything from the JV, and we'll just do them in groups, and we'll make it fun. So we're gonna do that, and then then we get ready. I think this was a good taste for them to see that what we can do, and um, hopefully prove that we're number one. <laughs> and, uh, and just uh, just go from there. I mean, and the good, the great thing is, you know, we really don't lose many people after this. I mean, we have my, my young guys are good, and I have great. I have a great B team right now. That's just phenomenal. They, they didn't run as well as they could, but I don't know. They were warming up in 104 degrees with everyone else, of course. But it just, it, I don't think the excitement was there. I was teaching a class up until I, you know, literally up until 2:30. So I got here a little late. I had my assistants with them, and wow. so it was a little bit hard. You know, I, I we still had the kids went to school today, some of them, and I, I taught my classes. So. Was hard, but overall. Okay. All right, once again, uh, Newberry Park. We'll do his one, three, five, six, nine on that boy side. Incredible. Again, getting not best performance I've ever seen. And I don't like to say that at this time of year. Yeah, they yeah. proved it. Stunning. Congratulations. We'll see you down the road. Awesome. Thank you.